Good morning. Good morning. I'm here as a mother. My name is, is Carol Gilmore, as you stated. And I'm a resident here in the city of Columbus, Ohio. I'm here today on behalf of my son, Corey Mitchell, who has no voice. My son, Corey, was ambushed by a mass assailant that was hiding in some bushes in front of his home on the night of May 29, 2010, in the city of Dayton, Ohio. When Corey pulled up in front of his home with his twins, a girl and a boy, the shooter jumped out of the bushes, called his name. Corey proceeded to run and have the children get to safety. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. My son was gunned down. He was shot multiple times. His daughter, at that time, was 11 years old. She was shot. Thank God she survived. At the time of the shooting, um, our lives, of course, now are shattered. The children were traumatized by watching their dad die. And unfortunately, the boy twin laid on the ground with his dad while he was catching his last breath. I am now raising them because he was a single dad. So it's tremendously changed my life as a mom. The loss is unbearable. Uh, there is an overwhelming fact that most of the violent crimes that is happening now is committed by the illegal guns possessions. Um, I personally don't have a problem with legal guns, but I believe that the gun safety is very important and that we need to enhance the background checks and the medical and the criminal history as well. Violence with guns has increased tremendously. Lives have been changed, both mentally and physically. I am pleased to be here today to share my story and with the hopes that there will be a change to regulate gun safety and to keep guns out of the hands of people who are mentally ill and that have criminal records. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.